Education challenges in some senior high schools in Ghana are well documented. It is for this reason the double track system was introduced in the 2018 2019 academic year to house the numbers under the free senior high school program. However, government says it is facing out the system because infrastructure challenges are being fixed. But there are still schools battling serious challenges. One of them is the Ghana Senior High School in Tamale. Some students have been forced to use toilet cubicles as dormitories. Days after the video showing the plight of the students there went viral, the Ghana Education Service has interdicted the headmaster and senior housemaster. A statement signed by Public Relations Officer Cassandra Trum Ampofo noted the Regional Director of Education is to ensure a report of the investigation is presented in two weeks. The Ghana Education Service says as far as it is concerned, there are enough accommodation facilities in the school to hold in excess of 1,700 students. Deputy Ranking Member on the Education Committee, Dr. Clementa Park, does not understand why the headmaster has been interdicted. The decision to conduct an investigation is in the right direction. Uh, I have some reservations with regards to the directive that the headmaster and the senior housemaster should step aside. This is not an issue that should request or should require an interdiction. If the investigation is conducted and indeed uh, it turns out that it is as a result of the fault of the headmaster and the senior housemaster and any action is being instituted against them, I wouldn't have a problem with that. But for now, I, I don't believe that we ought to place the blame entirely on the doorstep of the headmaster and the senior housemaster. He maintains the issue at Ganasco is not an isolated one. At the Wa Senior High School, some students are equally using toilet cubicles as dormitories. I've seen pictures of the dormitories that Kellen stays. The state in which these people are living in this uh, school, that shouldn't be. For Dr. Apak, an audit of all the schools is required to understand the extent of the accommodation crisis. He says Parliament's Education Committee may have to invite the sector minister to respond to the concerns. I think this is a matter that should certainly capture the attention of the committee that I am a deputy ranking member on. And I say so because since that video came out and went viral, I have received reports, although unofficial, indicating that the phenomena that we are witnessing in Ghana School, which has warranted uh, this interaction, is not exclusive to Ghana School. I have received information to the effect that there are other schools where similar facilities that should be serving as toilet facilities and washrooms have been converted to dormitories or students are living in those places as dormitories. So it tells me that the issue is bigger and it is not just confined to Ghana School. And for that reason, the Committee on Education ought to be interested in what is going on as far as our secondary schools are concerned.